if we're doing things for the sake of a greater influence, if it's just more about more people and more praise, I would nuance it and say that if it's all about more people and more praise, it leads us down a very dangerous path. If our convictions are not grounded in scripture, we will be swayed by public opinion. It probably means that we care more about ourselves, that our ministry to God is actually more about me looking good in front of others, which I believe is actually not godly. It probably speaks of some inward insecurity or some desire for accomplishment and significance. And the truth is all of us are in ministry for some sort of significance, okay? But I think if we're aware of it and we give it to the Lord and we say, God, I know that I have to be careful of this part of my life. I am not my accomplishments. I am not my failures either. I am not how many people I lead or how many people I speak to. That fundamentally, my inherent worth is that Jesus says, you know, on one hand, he says that you're a slave of Christ Jesus. Paul says that on the other hand, he says you are co-heirs with Christ and that you are deeply loved and known by God. It has to have this sort of fundamental um, uh, grounding of uh, identity. So on a practical level, for me, it means on Tuesday mornings, I have my alone time and I have a coffee and I reflect the week, okay? And it's in those times I'm reminded of, number one, how ordinary I am. Number two, to be mindful, God, I got to make sure I don't hog the credit for myself. Oh, I did that. Oh, did, you, did everyone see how what I came up with? But I'm very aware that some good ideas I have in a leadership context, a, a good idea for a sermon prop, I know they drop from the Lord. They, they drop from God. Seriously, I'm not even joking. And I know that God, that was you. That, that illustration, that came from you. That image came from you. And I just say, thank you, Lord. I just steward it. Right? And then thirdly, there are just people that keep me accountable. I talk to my friends and I let them speak into my life, even if they say things which are um, uncomfortable. 